Hey, there's been a lot of polemics within tech circles throughout the years. Will iPad take more important role in our lives and eventually surpass its status of simple tablet? Since the release of the very first iPad Pro in 2015, Apple has been working hard to design a bold and unique path for iPad in order to turn it into something that could replace your computer without being a computer. What's the computer, you remember? In just few iterations, it looks like Apple has managed to turn this into reality in a way, but not quite. With the introduction of the iPad Pro lineup powered by the M1 processor, we were convinced that this will be the pinnacle of this iPad evolution. Unfortunately, we were a little bit misled by our expectations in terms of software. But if you've seen my previous video, Apple is reaching some new milestones in order to fix this. While it may not be 100% the way we expected to be, I'm sure it will get there at one point. Some of the first expectations about bigger iPad Pro have appeared in 2018, not long after Apple showcased redesigned 12.9 inch and 11 inch iPad Pro models with a Face ID, right after new rumors began coming from multiple sides. Maybe not as with other iPad Pro potential features, but still, I personally had a chance to exchange messages with some of you on my channel, Blackbeard Hosting. Simple, easy to use website installer, 24 7 customer support, real people, and more hosted on fast, reliable, and secure servers. Check it out one month free trial, no credit card needed. With digital marketing code, you get 5% off. Blackbeard Hosting hosting as it should be. Who did express a lot of interest in iPad with bigger display, even bigger than the one on 12.9 inch version. Although tablets were primarily designed with portability in mind, as time progressed with accessories like cases with keyboards, devices like iPads have made users thinking, maybe in a way I could use this thing as my daily driver, even as a laptop replacer. Back in the days when I was owner of 6 gen iPad, I've purchased just a case with Bluetooth keyboard and man I had more pleasure using it than my MacBook Air. The only downside was that the screen was just too small and back then iPadOS wasn't that powerful as today. Now I'm using 11 inch iPad Pro and I wish I've purchased 12.9 inch variant because that's laptop already right? And I believe I'm not the only one. Would you use your iPad Pro as a laptop desktop replacer? Please answer below. Possibility that we may see 14 or 16 inch display within the iPad could just be one more clue that Apple indeed has a plan to make professional iPads true alternative to the Mac yet at the same time something unique in almost every way. Latest WWDC has cast a doubt and made some to conclude how Apple will log the iPad Pro as just an assisting tool of the Mac and nothing more. Call me crazy, but I believe that's wrong. It's just Apple is trying to avoid that iPad Pro sales steal potential MacBook consumers, and that's perfectly natural. The way how iPadOS multitasking switch works now is more similar to the one on Mac Mac OS, but that's just small improvement. Let me be honest, I'm not that happy because it goes very slow, yet not having Final Cut nor, or Logic Pro should not prevent other developers from looking for a way to develop high-end apps capable of pushing iPad Pro to its limits. With recent beta, iPadOS 15 will now allow applications to utilize more than just 5 gigs of RAM, so one more obstacle is gone. Just check my previous video. In his first Power On newsletter, Mark Gurman from Bloomberg informed us that he's been told that Apple is truly exploring larger iPads. Maybe not for 2022, but in next few years. According to him, larger screens have been considered for some time already. And if we just follow impressive evolution of the iPad OS, bringing so-called iPad Pro Max to the table would definitely make sense. I don't know what's your opinion about it, but you can always share it at the bottom. And that would be all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up and turn on notifications. Make sure you check the links in the description for some awesome offers and discounts that occasionally includes Apple products and accessories as well. Thank you so much for watching Digital Marketing Channel. My name is Marco. Talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye.